Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to Mosaic Monday, our very first one for 2021. So Happy New Year to everybody. I've been taking some time off during the holidays, so I'm going to start doing tutorials again here in January. But to start off for 2021, I wanted to talk color. Over the holidays, I spent a lot of time crocheting, of course, and browsing on the different Facebook groups and on Instagram and various other places, seeing all these beautiful pictures of mosaic color work and everything that you can dream of project-wise from bags to blankets, pillows, table runners, and so much more. And it really got me thinking because the number one thing I was seeing, especially in the Facebook groups, is a question that I get a lot here on this channel. And that is, how do I pick colors? I see other colors that people are using and I get so overwhelmed. I saw that a lot in the comments and on different threads all throughout the holiday season. And I've seen it before as well. So I wanted to kind of help some of you who really struggle with your color choices. That's what we want to talk about today is color choices. And how can you demystify it or kind of make it where it's not so overwhelming when you are going to start a project and are trying to decide what colors to use. So of course you have your normal two color mosaic. So that would be something like this as an example. So this is a hat that I made using the last tutorial I did for 2020. But anything that there is a tutorial for that I show you, I will link it down below in the description. So of course on this one, it's really easy color choice and hopefully my natural lighting is, is gonna work out and help us all to see. So it's just a cream and a golden color it's called Marigold. So obviously what we have going on here is I picked the color that I wanted, that I liked, and then I just picked a contrasting color so the design would pop out. So that's your easiest mosaic, but that's not what we're going for here. We know that we can pick two colors and something come out really awesome, one color being the main color. And we know that because we've done it many times before. We choose two colors and we like the way it looks and that's our entire project in those two colors. And that is great. It's not that that isn't perfect because as you can see here, I'm showing multiple examples where I'm only using two colors. When I teach on YouTube, I do have to keep in mind some people are not experienced with mosaic crochet. So if I'm using a color changing yarn in a tutorial, it causes people to get confused. So that's why most of my tutorials are done in just simply two colors so people can keep up. And I do like the look of something like that. I really like this. These are some pillows that I'm going to have on my couch one day as soon as I finish them. <laughs> so that's two colors. Another example, if you take a look, this is a small project done in color changing yarn. So the main color here, the background color we should say, is an orangey pink. So that was a Bernat Pop Cake. And because this is a small project, you don't see all the colors in the cake, but you do get a really nice fade in the color and that i think is what a lot of people are getting confused with when they're seeing these gorgeous blankets especially because they're very big projects so you can get a range of colors in them i think what people are seeing and getting intimidated by or confused on how to recreate is a lot of people are using the cake yarns that are color changing or the skeins of yarns that are color changing this is a red heart stripes this is a self striping yarn. So it has these longer color changes, which those that's what I really, really love when we're doing mosaics and we're wanting a color change. We want those chunks. You can see a chunk of that color. Different colors in here. There's chunks of them. So this right here works really great for mosaic and gives you that color and transition that everybody is so impressed with when they see the finished project. So you have a couple different options here. You can use something like this and then bring in a neutral, or of course you could pull a color that is a tone darker than anything in here. So we could pick a darker blue tone or a darker pink tone, more like a magenta, and we could pull out 
some of the color palette in here for our secondary color and that will give you a really pretty effect another thing i want to show is when we don't have self-striping or color changing yarn and we're just trying to pick a bunch of colors that we like together keep in mind these are going to be your best friend though the cake yarns those are your best friend as you can see various colors here one color being drawn through the entire project that is this green tone right there that bright apple green is going to be shown every few repeats of the pattern so as you can see it started down here i have dark blue bright blue back to that green now a dark green yellow this is a very dark navy blue and then we're back to that green again so I am taking something that I have a lot of. I have the one pound skeins of this Karen yarn and I'm mixing it with Red Heart yarns that I have some of. I'm just simply using scraps to create this blanket. I've got other tons of blue I'll be bringing in. I've got some turquoise colors I'll bring in. If you don't like a color as you add it on, you can always pull it out. And I know that's hard to think of when you're having to go out and purchase yarn. So that's why this video is being done and specifically pointing out some of the ways that we can save a little bit of money, but also get a lot of colors to work with. That's where the cake yarns come in. And that's where the cake yarns are going to give you such a color transition. It is going to give you the effect that you're wanting because it's fading and it's self-striping and you're going to move from one color to the next without having to have 10 colors or 10 balls of yarn pulled to make a project. So kind of keep that in mind in the back of your mind. Yes, you can mix any type of colorways you want for this particular project. I am going with blues, greens, and yellows. So that's what I'm pulling from my stash. And it will all end up working this one right here since it is a lot different from some of the other patterns I've shown. It's a little less busy. It is a lot easier for me just to grab different yarns and put them together because of the way this works. We don't have all of this going on where we're trying to focus in on what our pattern actually is because this is just like an argyle effect back here. It makes it really easy to do color work without feeling like your blanket is getting too busy. This is one of my tutorials, so it is linked down below in the description. And... This one right here is not up yet, but it will be. It's coming. So regardless, if this was done in a color change, this would still be very pretty. We would keep one color consistent throughout the project in this particular one because it is so busy. But let's talk about if we don't want to keep a consistent colorway. We want to see those fades like what people are showing in all these beautiful Instagram and Facebook photos. That's where they take a cake like this and pair it with something that is a contrasting color that also is a color change. I do see that going on a lot. I know a lot of you are probably like, how do they know when they're going to change color? It's all dictated by that ball of yarn. So let's look at a couple different color changing options. So this is on the bright side and this is on our neutrals, kind of fall type tones. Any of these color changing yarns like this, are gonna work out great, but what do you pair them with? So let's look at this one right here. Let's look at another cake. So this right here is the Lion Brand Woolies DK Cakes. And as you can see, we're looking at blues in this cake, and this is the Karen cake. So these are Karen cakes. This is just the original. It's got a little touch of wool in it. And then we have this Woolies. So if you take a look, the tone, this is like a turquoisey blue, almost like a mint green that's here in the center. That's the closest color that we have to over here. So these two cakes paired together will give you a really interesting effect and give you a color change that is all throughout the project. So if you were to pair these two together, as you start to work, you're going to have enough contrast in between the color that's coming out on each cake that you will still be able to see your mosaic shapes. It is a really pretty effect that you get by just using two different cakes that are 
color changing. So both of these would be considered self-striping because they have those chunks of color. It's not a quick color change. So two self-striping cakes paired together can make a fantastic mosaic. And all you're going to do when you're trying to figure out which cakes to use is put two cakes side by side and look at their colors. How many colors in here are too close? Because that's what you want to avoid. If you don't want the color changes to be so close in the cake that it would blend away and you wouldn't even see the design that you're doing. So you just want to put the cake side by side. You can do this right there in the store and look and see, okay, is there enough difference in these two cakes that I would have a contrast? Or you truly pick two contrasting colors. So an example of that would be bring in this one right here. This is another Woolies. So this is the Woolies DK cake. This one right here is strawberry shortcake for those of you who are curious. This one right here is meadow. These two I bought to work together. There is a similar color in both. There is a light yellow here and there is a slightly, slightly darker version of that same yellow on the other cake. And with the way that you end up working your projects, you're going to use one typically more than the other and create something really gorgeous. So I'm bringing in over here a project that is in progress. Let's move this back out of the way. So this right here is an example of how using two color changing cakes can give you that gorgeous effect that everyone wants to see in their mosaic work. So this one is done in the round and I'm gonna just kind of turn it. So you can see we have a lot of the consistency but you do get some color change on through the row. So you just end up with a little bit, see how I have this come in here and we didn't have that back here so much. Bleeds down a little bit more. It is just making a really, really gorgeous look to this project. So I really love this. Now, what did I use? Woolies Cakes. So this is more lime brand yarn. So this color right here is bedazzled. This color right here is forever young. So those two cakes are not traditionally you wouldn't look at these and go, oh, those are those are contrasting enough that I could use these, but you can. This one is primarily pink, the forever young over here on the left hand. This one right here has got a lot more of the earthy tones in it, but then it has some pops of color. We do have some similar color here and here, but the way that this is going to work out is this color is going to appear in an opposite color section, so I'm not going to have any issues. If I were to run into an issue, I would just simply cut my yarn and do a Russian join to bring in the color that I want, but I'm not going to do this on this project, so I will be showing updated pictures on Facebook and Instagram once I get this further up, several repeats of it, so that you can see how it worked out. So for me, I'm going to test the theory, basically. I've never run into a problem before, and I've never used two colors that are so similar. I would put these both as kind of the more, they're more muted tones, they're not bright colorways. So typically, I would not pair these on a normal but I decided to give it a try and I'm really loving how that is coming out back there and looking gorgeous. So that's a way to achieve some of those really fantastic looks that you guys are seeing and going, how are they doing that? How are they doing it? They're doing it with cakes. So hopefully this is going to help demystify some of those beautiful color choices that you guys are seeing out there in the world when you're looking at all these pictures. It is so easy to do this. You can do this same type of thing with scraps by just sorting all your little scrap balls out by color. So you would sort them, all your pinks in one section, all your oranges, all your yellows, and then start working a project with them, grabbing those different colors and bringing them together. That will give you a really interesting color change as well. But for those of you who just absolutely cannot put your head around matching up and doing colors together, Cakes are going to be your way to go. That's going to give you some really pretty effects. You're going to see some colors 
popping out and coming together that you would not normally grab and put together, but they work so well when you do. So until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll be back next week with a new tutorial. Thanks as always for watching. Bye for now.